Reaper Madness, stilt walkers, and out of this world ideas were all making moves in 1957. Take a trip back in time with us in this week's Pit Parade. <laughs> It's the Pit Parade, the picture story of the Pittsburgh scene from the KDK TV archives. I found my thrill on Blueberry Hill. Reefer Madness had hit Pittsburgh the week of July 19, 1957. Right at the foot of Mount Washington, in full sight of the city, a huge marijuana field was growing. You shake my nerves and you rattle my brain. Drug agents got a tip that the evil weed was in the area, growing in a vacant lot somewhere. So they set out on foot and finally hit pay dirt, two acres of marijuana. They called in the city forestry department, which sprayed the plants with a powerful weed killer. But that just wasn't enough. It was illegal to smoke marijuana, unless you were a United States Marine. The Marines smoked that field, but good. They brought flamethrowers to the scene of the crime and torched the field. In the process, they released a lot of marijuana smoke into the air. People living on the south side must have felt a little funny that day. Another day, another building demolished in the Hill District. Nothing was sacred when the wrecking ball knocked, not even churches. The walls came tumbling down. The walls were going up on Duquesne University's campus this week. Workers were building the new law school at Boyd and Locust Streets. It would eventually be 10 stories high and would be known as Rockwell Hall. Quite a long haul from New York to Los Angeles, but this man was up to the task. In fact, he was way up on stilts. Pete McDonald of Texas was trying to sell the stilts to construction workers as a replacement for scaffolding. Sounds like a pie in the sky idea. Where are you, little star? Where and a pie-in-the-sky idea was starting to get off the ground this week, but we didn't make it. Remember Project Vanguard? The Navy's Earth Satellite Program was capturing our imagination with a display at the Buell Planetarium. There's a replica of the rocket and the satellite it would launch into orbit. That ball was packed with instruments, which would record data and then beam it back to observers. But the Vanguard rocket blew up on the pad, and the Soviets won the space race. One hundred million dollars has just gone up in a huge red orange ball of smoke. We don't know what caused the failure. Take good care of my baby. Five-year-olds, along with some smaller fry, were strutting their stuff in Brentwood. It was the annual baby parade. Being cute was hard work that day. Make sure you're thinking of her in everything you say and do. There were babies in blue suede shoes the week of July 19, 1957. St. Goodbye, Earth people. This is Patty Burns for the Pit Parade. Sure, there was a lot of cheek pinching at that baby parade. We love our weekly throwback Thursday feature, the pit parade. We hope you do too. Watch to see what next week brings us.